Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com. And what I have here is a little setup with my torsion catapult. Um, I have a video on this catapult. I also have instructions and I have a tutorial on how to make one right on my website. And a lot of people ask how far it can shoot, so I'm going to run a few tests here and let you see how far it can shoot. So what I'm using is marshmallows, and I have a tape measure set up. And uh, the best I can get out of this room, all the way to that wall, is 17 feet. So I'm going to load a marshmallow in the catapult, just like that. See, and that way if you use a marshmallow, you can know what kind of results to expect. Now we're going to put this down, and we'll take a look and see what we got here. All right, ready? Now it hit the wall at approximately, I don't know, a foot and a half up maybe. So 17 feet, it probably would go another foot or two, 18 to 20 feet. Um, so this catapult shoots 18 to 20 feet. I want to show you a couple of things. You can get it to shoot further. Um, you can see here that this is bowing a little bit. These, these, I use strong wood here, but it's starting to pull in because the tighter you pull the, the tighter you wrap it up, it's going to tend to want to pull these in. So if you want to make it really strong and really torque it up by spinning the rods there, put another piece of wood in here somewhere to keep it strong. But this one's pretty strong. I also, if you want to work on your catapult to get it working better, is you may want to modify this cross piece here. See how I've put some foam here? And what that does is it causes it to release a little bit earlier. And I'm finding that a little bit earlier is a little bit better of a projectile. The earlier this releases, the earlier it stops, the um, higher your arc of flow in your catapult. So if you get it to release here, it might even be a little bit better. So what I usually do is I'll take something like this crossbar and I'll actually make it adjustable. I can bring it down or bring it up and then you can tune your your catapult. And if you another trick to um, having it fire further is to lengthen this cross arm. Uh, excuse me, the throw arm. If this is longer, you'll get a you'll get a longer throw. But if it is longer, you've got to remember you this needs to be adjusted because um, the the angle will change. So let's fire off another one. See how that goes. And that one too did good. So this is a pretty potent little catapult. It takes, doesn't take long to build. And you can uh, modify it quite a bit. Like this cup here I have on here. I actually can. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this cup which I just have stapled. And I'm going to move it up. Okay, I've moved the cup way up high there, and you can also, when you're making it, you can make a longer swing arm. But I've moved it up quite a bit. I'm going to load it with a marshmallow. Now let's see how we do. See the difference? Look at that. Let me try another one. Now the trajectory changed quite a bit. See how low it flew? That means that <clears throat> it's releasing uh, too late in its performance. So with a longer arm like this, we want to make it release at a higher point here, like something like this. So I'm going to put another piece in there, get it to release sooner, and we'll give it another try. Okay, okay take a look at what I've done here. I've added these two pieces of wood here because my, my arm is longer now. So the catapult arm actually stops sooner. Now if I take these out, See how much further it goes? It goes that much further. And that's why we're getting a low trajectory. Now when I add these, I'm going to tape them in. We'll get a higher trajectory. We should get a longer throw. Up. Okay, let's see how we do here. I put the marshmallow in. I'm going to... Now let's take a look. See that? See how it went just about 17 feet to the wall? So a big difference from... Uh, when we didn't add those boards. I'll try it again. See that? Hit the bottom of the wall. So we got a good 17 feet, a little bit more. 
Now I can continue to adjust this. I can make that arm longer. I can uh, bring this out more, or I can you can raise this height or lower this height. In the case of uh, something like this, with a longer arm, you'd lower this height. Um, so those are those are a couple of things that you can do to improve the the performance of your catapult. Tighten it up. Tighten up the torsion. Change the change the length of the the swing arm. Change the stopping point of the swing arm, and uh, put in a board right here. Put something in here to keep this nice and strong, because you can see it's bowing just a little bit. So let's go back to our original configuration, which seemed to be the best, and we'll try a couple more shots. Okay, so I've moved the cup down a little bit, back to its normal position, and I've left these crossbars out. In effect. The angle has changed significantly on how the trajectile, the projectile, is going to release from the catapult. And um, let's see what kind of a difference we get here. Remember, the wall is 17 feet away. So look at that. was quite an impressive um that was maybe three feet up off the wall so we definitely went well over 20 feet with that launch 